Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over making your own custom taxonomy um, field type. And to start off, I'm going to basically be following the tutorial that is in the documentation on the on my website. Uh, you can kind of go through here. You can find it in there if you go under Docs. You'll be able to find it on there. Um, but you'll see you kind of go through here. You add all this. So the first step we're going to need to do is come back here. We're going to actually need to install the plugin. So we'll go to Plugins, Add New. And we're going to search for Pods. Now, this reason I'm doing with, with pods is just to make it easier to give you kind of a user interface where you can install it from. Um, I know the guys that you know created pods pretty well, and they, they did a great job with it, so I definitely recommend using it if you haven't before. Um, it's definitely one of my most popular plugins that I use. So now that we've created, you'll see we have this over here, the pods admin. So you'll see we have this new menu item. So we'll come in here, and we're going to create a new one. And then we're going to select from down here, we're going to select new taxonomy. And then we're going to come here, and then we're going to do a singular label. This is going to be the label to describe the new taxonomy um, whenever you're talking about it in a singular form. So it's not going to be, you know, uh, car, or the singular is going to be car, and the plural is going to be cars, you know, S with the S on the end of it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to actually, um, I guess I'm going to use for this one, let's do, let's say job uh, shift. Yeah, we'll go with job shift. So job shift, go plural, job shifts. Next step. Now you'll see, now we've created this new uh, pod in here. Now this one right here. So we'll have this, and we can create extra fields if we wanted to have extra fields for them. Uh, you see you can customize all the labels, everything of the sort in here. Now what we're going to want to do, the main thing we're going to, first thing we're going to want to check on is we're going to want to come here, and we're going to see, see where it says show taxonomy column on post types. What this will do is this will actually show it on the actual post type itself. Um, so we're going to actually associate this with job listings. So you would do that if you want it to show up in the actual job listing page. Uh, totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, but the most, the most important feature is coming to advanced options right here and coming down. And then you're going to notice over here you have all these associated post types. So what we want to do is we want to associate this since it's a, the job shift. We're going to do it with jobs. And what that's going to do is that's going to add a menu item. So you'll see here we have job categories, regions, types. What it's going to do here is it's going to add one that says job shifts. So make sure you have that checked. And like I said, you'll be able to tell if you follow the instructions on here. You see it tells you to go through all this. You can sit here, you can click on next. Um, it kind of gives you all the, the basics of it, configuring advanced options, going through here. This is what I was talking about, setting the, the associated post type. That's going to be the biggest thing that you need to do. So for jobs, you know, you would select jobs or the one that says listing, resume, you would select the resume one. Totally up to you. So once you have that created, which that's really all you need to do, once you have that created, go ahead and click save. Get that save. Okay, now... I accidentally clicked it again. Uh, so you'll see here we come here. You see now under job listings, we have job shifts. Let's go ahead and go in here. Let's do uh, morning. Let's do night. Evening. Now we have entered in all of our different job shifts that we want. Now that we have these entered in here, now we can go and create a new field. So let's go to job fields. Add a new job field. For the meta key, I'm going to use job shift. I don't know why it's saying that's a query variable. It shouldn't be, but there must be something. Uh, pods is probably adding to the query variables, uh, job shift meta key. And so the reason in being of doing that, so now I need to make sure that uh, you know this doesn't have an issue so we don't get any kind of errors on our website. So instead of using job shift, I'm going to use job shifts. Uh, you can choose anything you want here. Just keep it unique. Uh, the users on the front end are not going to see it, so you don't need to worry about that. Next, we're going to select the type, and from the type top down, drop down, since we're using a taxonomy, we're going to want to we're going to want to select one of these because these are the only ones we can use for taxonomies. So, because I want them to be able to select multiple, I'm going to go ahead and select the multi-select drop down. Now you'll see here. Now that now we get this field that shows up here and it says, "Hey, what's the taxonomy?" If you don't remember what it was, what you set up, you can always come back to it. And let's go back. Let's go back to the dashboard here. You see here under job listings, and I come to job shifts. And so if I click on this, if you notice up here in the URL bar, you'll see taxonomy equals 
job shift. So see that's right there? All you have to do is copy that. That's what the taxonomy is. That's the value you need, to, you need to know. So if we go back to pods, you'll see job shifts. You'll see name. See right there? Job shift. That's our taxonomy name. So now let's go back here. Type in the job shift. And then go ahead and fill out some of these basic fields. Please select the job shifts this position is related to. And placeholder, the placeholder is going to be what's going to show inside of the drop down field, uh, you know, that's going to say select a job shift or whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and type that in select a job shift. Three. Uh, we'll set that as priority, let's do two, so it shows up right uh, by the job location. Actually, let's do 1.9, so it shows above job location. Let's set it as a required field. You can see here in the advanced, you can set a default value. If you're going to set a default value, which is a default one that's going to be selected for one of these, uh, the I'm sorry, not job types, for the job shift, what you're going to need to do is you need to set the value needs to be the slug. You can use the name, and it should be able to automatically pick it up. I did write the code in there to do that. But just to make sure that it does automatically select it, I suggest using the slug whenever you can. Uh, I'm not going to set one for now because it's not necessary. Uh, output, you know, if, if you need help with output stuff and using auto output, go ahead and check out the other tutorials on that. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go a little bit more into it and stuff like that. Um, populate, I'm not going to set that up. I'm not going to do packages either right now. So right now we look good, like we're good to go. Go ahead and click add. Okay, we added it. Now, if you enter in the taxonomy incorrectly, it's going to give you an error and tell you there was an error. Obviously, I, I had this one and I put it in there correctly, so we didn't have an issue. So now that that field's been added, we've got that field. Let's go ahead and go to the front end of our site. Close that out. Post the job. Team details. And now you'll notice right here below our job title, right above the location, we now have job shift. And you'll see what the placeholder is right there, you'll see select a job shift. And now you can see there's the three different options that we had in there. And now this is with it configured as a multi-select. Now, if we wanted to use one of the other values or one of the other taxonomy types, let's go ahead and go back to that and let's just show you what it looks like. Let's go here. Switch over to the checklist. So on the checklist, we're going to select that. Let's change that. Now let's check it out and see what the checklist looks like. Go here and come down here and now you'll see. Now we have the job shift and now you'll notice you have a checklist of different options that you can select. And it's all based off of your actual, uh, the, the taxonomies you have. So if we come in here and notice, we'll add one, let's say um, just an example, um, night shift, we'll do uh, early AM. back here to post a job. Now you'll notice it automatically adds it there. All you have to do is add in the taxonomy and it automatically show up. Uh, that's it for this one on uh, doing the taxonomies and getting those to work. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, I'll see you on the next tutorial.